My name is Aaliyah Rich. Hi, my name is Dayma. Welcome to Parry Story. A podcast from Ray Grand Training Center High School in Chicago. This season, our theme is Exploring Chicago. For this episode, we visited the Garfield Park Conservatory in Chicago, one of the largest conservatories featuring indoor and outdoor gardens in the United States. Mandy and Marissa talked with Ruthie Gold about the plants, events, and how to get involved. You can learn more at GarfieldConservatory.com. Enjoy the show. Peace. Have a great day. And thank you for listening to Patio Story Podcast. Hi, my name is Mandy, and I'm here with Marissa. This is Power Your Story Podcast. Today we are at Garfield Park Conservatory. Please tell us your name and your job. My name is Ruthie, and I'm the Student Engagement Coordinator. So that means anything that's related to school groups, whether it's booking field trips, doing orientations, developing resources or content for teachers and students to use while we're here, All of that falls under my role. How long have you been working here? I've been working here for about a year and a half now. Why do you want to work here? It's a really wonderful place to work. The people are wonderful. It's a beautiful place, especially in the winter. It's really nice to be able to walk into somewhere really green and tropical when it's cold and dead outside. It's a beautiful space. You get to learn a lot about the plants and you also get to share that with lots of other visitors, thousands of visitors who come from Chicago or other places in the country or even all over the world. What is your favorite thing about your job? I would say getting to always be learning. I'm always learning new things about the plants here. We have over 2,000 different species of plants growing in the conservatory, so there's always something new to learn. And then getting able to share that knowledge that I've learned and pass it on to other people, whether it's students who are visiting the conservatory or just the general public. Do you have any funny stories you can share with us? So we have a lot of stray cats that wander around out back and we kind of take care of them we feed them and everything and we caught one of them to take him in to get cleaned up at the vet and then we released him actually just yesterday morning but then two hours later he got stuck in a trap again so he we just can't get rid of him how many different plants are growing here So we have over 2,000 different species of plants. They're always taking new plants out and putting new plants in. And not to mention all of our back propagation greenhouses, which are not open to the public, but it's where the Chicago Park District grows a lot of new plants, either from seed or from cuttings. Definitely, it feels like you're in the jungle while you're here. There are so many different plants to see. What is your favorite plant here? Oh, it's hard to pick one favorite, but one of my favorites is the firecracker plant, and that plant lives in the palm house. And what's cool about the firecracker plant is that when you water it, the seeds will actually explode out of the plant from the seed pods, and you can actually hear them. It's like a snap, crackle, pop sound, like if you've had Rice Krispie treats and poured the milk on. And what it's doing when it's exploding those seeds out of the seed pods is that it's allowing the plant to disperse its seeds so that new firecracker plants can grow away from the parent firecracker plants. So it's this really cool kind of exciting thing that a plant does. A lot of times people just think plants just kind of sit there and do nothing, but here's something where you can actually observe something really concrete happening. uh, And it's something that's really helping the plant to keep surviving. Where do the plants came from? Do you grow them here? Yeah, that's a great question. So in the conservatory, we have two main organizations that work under here. So we've got Chicago Park District and they work to maintain the collection and make sure everything looks nice and beautiful for visitors. So they're responsible for most of the plants that you see in the collection. And so like I was mentioning before, they grow a lot of our plants in the back propagation houses, either from seed or from cutting. So that means they would take like the leaf of a succulent plant, for example, and they would be able to put that in soil and then from that leaf grow a whole new succulent. And they also will sometimes get plants from other institutions, the Chicago Botanic Gardens or the Lincoln Park Conservatory. Sometimes we get to borrow plants from there and sometimes we just get them from other vendors as well. And then the other main organization we have working here at the conservatory is the Garfield Park Conservatory Alliance. Our mission for the Alliance is to change lives through the power of nature. So we aim to inspire 
educate and provoke exploration of our collection and nature and plants through our programming. And we have a greenhouse of our own. And from there, we also grow plants from seed, from cuttings. We get plants from the park district and we get to use those plants in pop-up plant cells and things like that. We Sometimes we sell them in our gift shop and we also donate plants that we grow as well to community markets and things like that. Where can the plants grow outside of the conservatory? So we have plants growing from all over the world. We actually have a resource on our website that's all about trying to find all the different places where these plants come from. So if you're going around the conservatory, you can see the labels of all the plants and it says their common name, their scientific name, and then where they're from. So we have plants from South America, Africa, North America, Australia. So we have plants basically from every continent except for Antarctica. Who takes care of them? So mostly the Chicago Park District takes care of the plants that you see in the public greenhouses. So even as you're walking around today, you'll get to see Park District staff watering and weeding, but they also get a lot of help from the volunteers from the Garfield Park Conservatory Alliance. So that's a big part of our programming. We have a really robust volunteer program. We have volunteers that help take care of our indoor gardens, our outdoor gardens, they contribute to all of the general horticulture there. And then in terms of the greenhouse that belongs to the Garfield Park Conservatory Alliance, that's all taken care of by our greenhouse coordinator, a wonderful woman named Amelia, and a lot of volunteers as well. What kind of training or skills do they need to work here? So it really depends on what kind of job you're looking to have. So if you're looking to work with the Chicago Park District, uh, it's really important to have knowledge of gardening and taking care of plants and horticulture, but then if you're working for the Garfield Park Conservatory Alliance, that requires a really different skill set as well. So for my job, for example, it's important to have an education background. So I was actually a high school teacher before I came to work here. And then also we have a whole development office. So their goals are to fundraise for the conservatory and make sure that the public knows about the conservatory. So they have all sorts of skills with communications and social media and fundraising and advertising and branding. Uh, we also have an accountant, so her job is to, you know, be keeping track of all of all of the money that comes in and goes out. So really it depends on the kind of job you're looking for and it could require any number of different types of skills. How can students or teens work at a conservatory? So a really great program that we have here at the Garfield Park Conservatory, and this is through the Alliance, uh, is our Urban Roots program. And this is a program where we recruit students from the high school that's across the street. It's called Al Raby High School. And they get to come learn about the conservatory. They have a summer internship where they learn about the conservatory and horticulture and botany and planting, and they learn how to be docents of the collection. So then during the school year and then the following summer, they can actually give tours to visiting school and camp and youth groups. So that's a really cool thing, although that's more specific for the high school that's across the street. Sometimes if you're 16 or older, sometimes you can do some volunteering at the conservatory, although typically that's for 18 and up, but sometimes they can do that. Also, it's great to just come as a visitor if you're a student. We've got school programs that include an orientation, all these resources that you can use to just come and learn about the conservatory. What are some of your favorite events you have here? Well, we've got a lot of really great events here. So National Honey Bee Day, which is all about beekeeping. That's something that I haven't talked about yet. We've got a great beekeeping program. We keep hives and we make honey. There's Harvest Day. So that's an event that's really geared towards family. So you get to come and see goats and there are hay bale mazes and and bingo, and we give away plants that we've grown and vegetables that we've grown here at the conservatory. We also have a really cool event called Floratica, which is essentially a fashion show, but instead of clothes, all of the outfits are made out of flowers. They actually set up a, a runway right in here and people get to see basically a fashion show, but again, all the clothes are made out of flowers. We also have Creatures of the Night, which is, takes place around Halloween. That one's really fun. We get animals that come, we've got a 
sloth that comes and armadillo, a chinchilla, a possum, our insect petting zoo, or not our insect petting zoo, but from the University of Illinois Extension Program, they have an insect petting zoo. Also just every week, something to look forward to is our family programming. It's free for families. Kids get to drop in with their parents or caregivers, and there's always some kind of more structured activity going on, but also there's always something like story time and spray bottles that are around so kids get to water the plants. So there's always something going on here and always something to look forward to. Where is Garfield Park Conversatory located? So our address is 300 North Central Park Avenue. Uh, we're on the west side of Chicago in an area called the Garfield Park neighborhood. So on the west side, super easy to access whether you're driving we're pretty close off the freeway and there's also a green line l stop that's literally a two minute walk from the conservatory so it's really accessible and the parking is free if you choose to drive and admission is free too we're open every single day of the year including all weekends and holidays and we are again free to the public why is the conservatory important in the community that's a really great question so I would say there are many, many reasons why the conservatory is important in the community. It's a great resource for families and teachers and adults, really everybody. It's a safe space where you can come and have an educational experience by going to a lecture. We offer a lot of lectures and classes, so you can have an educational experience that way. You can come as a part of a school field trip and have an educational experience that way or as a family. And again, a lot of our, not only are we free, but a lot of our programming is free as well. So it's very easy to come here and take part in an activity that's not going to you know, blow the bank. It's also a really important resource because there's a lot of research that shows how calming of an effect and how positive an effect nature can have on people. So, you know, here in the middle of the city, we have this huge space that has so much nature. So it's a really great respite for people to use if they're just, you know, coming for a space to take a breather and just take a break from their life outside of you know the hustle and bustle of living in the city and on the west side so i would say that those are the biggest reasons why we're important we really want to be viewed as this resource that's a space where people can really feel changed by the power of nature and feel inspired by our programming and learn something and also come out feeling a little bit better than when they came in. What advice do you have for someone who is visiting for the first time? I think my biggest piece of, well, two biggest pieces of advice. I think the first would be to ask our front desk staff if there's any special exhibit going on or anything like that, because if there is, they'll definitely tell you about it and you should definitely go see it. So like every winter we have a holiday show in our show house and every spring we have our spring, our spring flower show. And that's always a really exciting thing to see. I would also just advise people to take their time. A lot of times, if you're just going quickly, everything can kind of all look the same. But if you really slow down and pay attention to everything around you, you're going to really notice all of the differences and beauties in all of the individual plants. And really taking the time to look up towards the ceiling and see the kinds of things that you see up there, and then look all the way down at the ground and see the things you can notice there. The more you take your time, the more you're going to learn, the more you're going to get out of it. Is there anything else you want to share with us today? I think, yeah, just getting the word out about the conservatory is is important. It's such a it's such an amazing place and it's so beautiful, but so many people don't know about it because it's kind of tucked away here on the west side. So it's really easy to get to open every day. We're free. We've got amazing things going on all the time. So I would just encourage anybody to to come out and explore. Where can people find out more? www.garfieldconservatory.org. And from there, you can find out all sorts of information about our greenhouses and about the programming we offer. And we have a whole calendar of events that are happening. You can get lots of information by going on our website. You can also feel free to call the conservatory. We have a wonderful front desk staff who's always happy to answer any questions or direct you to someone who can. And our phone number is 773-638-1766. Thank you for talking with us today. Thank you guys. Thank you. How Are You Story podcast is produced by students at Ray Graham Training Center High School in Chicago with the production support of After School Matters and the creative Imposter Studios. You can find our show on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher Radio, Google Podcasts, 
on the web at PowerYourStoryPodcast.com. We're on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube as Power Your Story Podcast. Today's episode was produced by Marixa Mandy. Our theme music is by Gennaro Jackson, a.k.a. DJ Sparks. Follow us, subscribe, leave a review, or comment and share our show with your friend. Thank you for listening. Have a great day. Turn up all the way I got.